There we are. I made it. Fucking made it. Ducky. Okay, guys. One of these ducks get mad at me. There's like ducks swimming around me. If one of these ducks get mad at me, then just know that um, I'm going to keep the footage in the video. <laughs> this video, it's all about when to be hard and when to be soft. Before we keep going, I want to let you guys know I'm in America right now. And if you want to do coaching with me, go to naturallifestyles.com. Put an inquiry on the contact page and Sean will get to you. I leave in January and we won't be back until the end of next year. I plan not to come back until the end of next year. So this is now the time. If you don't do it so well, so well, so well. Now back to what I'm going to talk to you guys about. When it be hard is mainly the stronger aspects of who you are. And this is the part that guys really, really are after when they come into the community. They're not after so much being able to really sweetly tell a girl how much they care about her. They're not after, you know, appreciation in all its ways. They're not after, you know, deep qualification. They're not after that. Many guys get in this community because they just hate that part of themselves. They start to regret the part of themselves that actually used to be very soft and sweet because that's the thing that didn't get them women. And they come into the community and they start saying, okay, you know what? I want a woman in my life, but you know what? I don't want to have to do that sweet shit again. That sweet shit, that is the stuff that I've been doing my whole life, and it got me nothing but uh, either fat women or women I don't like, or it, it didn't get me the results that I really wanted. But as I can see, as I'm looking around the community, all these guys are going through these you know, emotions of you know, telling the girl, hey, let's go over here, and really stand in a way where he sounds like he's fucking clear. And, you know, guys are, are acting in ways that's very, very uh, macho and clear and, 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 and very masculine. That's what I want. I want that. And there's nothing wrong with you wanting that. Nothing wrong with that. Harder aspects, the stronger aspects of who you are, there's a time and place for it. So I need to let you understand that hard and soft is not about, it actually sounds like a dick, to be honest. That's why it was so funny because when I made the title, I was like, this sounds like a dick, hard and soft. But... What it really is, is the stronger aspects, aspects of yourself and the aspects of yourself that are much more softer. Or you can say the harder aspects of yourself and the softer aspects of yourself. And I just went through the thing that guys come to this community for. They usually come to the community for the harder aspects of themselves. They don't know how to express intensity. So they come, they try to get into the community so they can learn how to just say what they want to say, be able to speak in a direct way. Because this requires you to, to, to dive into the harder aspects of yourself. And they want to leave the softer aspects out. They're like, you know what? I only use that only. I only use that when I get a woman in my life who I'm in love with. That's the only time I use the, uh, the softer aspects. But otherwise, I just want to just get away from that and use the harder aspects. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's actually nothing wrong with wanting to not be too soft. There's nothing wrong with that because when you're too soft, then you're overextending yourself in a soft way. That's the good thing about leaving the soft side. That's the good thing about being able to be somebody that's like, I don't want to be the person that's being sweet and, and super nice and being somebody that's very, very accommodating. And I don't want to be that anymore. I don't want to be somebody who's, you know, giving, giving out um, compliments uh, that, that, that mean nothing. I don't want to be that way, which is like the, the immature soft way. I don't want to be that way. I don't want to be that. I just want to be the man that really goes after what he wants, be able to express intensity into the world, be able to be direct and clear about what he means and what he talks about, and really just have people, you know, respect me. That's what I want. I want people to respect me because people never respected me in my whole life. Guys come in this community for all different types of reasons, but these are the reasons that I mainly see. They want to just learn the harder aspects of themselves. They want to learn how to express that so they can just stop feeling so weak on the inside. And I can relate. I can relate to that. I can relate to uh, wanting to just get away from the soft side. Because I remember getting my heart deeply crushed by a woman and just becoming very bitter and only just wanted to you know be the hard way and you know be, be very very direct and you know you know state my boundaries i remember being that way and being so much that way that actually women were really fucking attracted to that but it was a very immature hardness or very immature masculine way of doing it so if i had to bring what hard and soft is to you it's just learning when to use the harder aspects of your personality and when to use the softer aspects of your personality being able to 
be in front of a woman and feel into, okay, I know this woman is a very, very sweet woman, so that means that I don't need to use so much of my harder aspects with her. I can be soft with her. I can be softer in my clarity. And that'll come across really good to her. Or I can be in front of a woman who's really fucking, you know, hardcore. And with her, I, can, I know when to be really fucking hard with her, but I also know when to be soft with her. When it will show her uh, love and care. Being able to show her sweetness. Because guys go, you know, there are certain women who just don't respond to sweetness. And I challenge them, I go, every woman responds to sweetness. They just respond to it based on uh, how much they need in that moment. You can't tell me that when a woman is not going through something um, in a moment or she's going through a, a mishap of, oh my God, this is too fast, why am I moving this fast with you, that she don't need softness in that moment. She absolutely needs soft, softness in that moment. She needs empathy. Empathy of, is of softness. So, if I had to dive into this topic for you guys, from my own journey, being somebody who grew up incredibly soft, as you can see, I'm a man who's really loving, caring, very romantic, very sweet, I'm very emotional, I cry a lot, and I'm somebody who loves that part about me. I do, I love that, and my woman loves that about me. And I grew up that way. I grew up around a community where I had sisters around, and I had cousins, and I always had women around me, whether that would be through, through school, and them loving that soft way about me, whether it be through my mentors. When I was growing up, a lot of them were women. And I just learned so much about being soft and being very connected and being sweet. I learned a lot about that. And as you know, I've said many times in my journey that I didn't have a strong masculine there, so I didn't know about the harder aspects of myself. So as I was going through, through life, I started, you know, just being very, very, if we have to start off with the harder aspects, I started to be somebody who was, who was very, very bitter about the fact I couldn't, I didn't have it and I, and I didn't, and I, and I saw others with it and I was like, oh, I don't want to do that way, That's, that way seems wrong and you know, it's being aggressive bad and you know, I don't want to have to spank a woman in bed. I used to have all these things around that. And for me to be able to move through that, what it meant for me to do is to cultivate the part of myself that, that, that wanted to express desire and intensity and that wanted to express uh, clarity of who I am and what I want and what I don't like. I had to just start diving into that. And I remember back in the day, me trying to do that and it coming off very, very out of pocket. It came off so out of pocket because I was just trying to find the way to do it. And I didn't have any clear models around me. And I would see guys do it and I would try to model those ways and it never worked. It never worked out for me. And the thing I found that it worked out for me though was being able to, you know, when I started getting into books, I started looking at people and I was going, okay, some of these things are working, you know, I'm going to start trying to express something that was hard. And as I was trying to express something hard uh, through books, you know, it wasn't really working because there wasn't really any clear models on how to express this in that way and is this the wrong time to express that? I used to be very confused about it. So, what I started doing is I started to just look at people who were very clear and who knew their way and they were very strong and I would look at even I would be I, my way of learning was through movies when I was growing up I learned through a lot of fucking movies on, by, on like how to be strong on like on like ways of my, like ways of being very clear um, one of the people I definitely used to say I used to say some of his lines to women when I was younger is Martin Lawrence I definitely used to say some of his lines because if you look at the way Martin Lawrence is he's, he don't take shit from nobody and he he's very clear with women he's had he had movies like a thin line between love and hate where he's very very like a, the player in that movie and I used to get all these lines and I was trying to just find a way how to be very clear and shit and I was like man just trying to be this way and that way and and I didn't know how to do it and I tried to be I tried being bitter and clear that way and I felt that it was giving me a lot of results as far as women respecting me but I didn't really know, I was confused, as you can see. I was so fucking far off confused, I just didn't know which route to go. So it was always misplaced and it was never, never at the right time. When it started coming at the right time though, is when I start to get around healthy uh, role models of people who can express the hard parts of themselves. People who actually could express clarity, people who could express strength, people who could express um, how they were feeling and not be ashamed of it. People who could make others respect them but without having to be violent. And as I started to look at uh, people doing this and then you know, I started to look at James and I started to do that, it really started to help me understand 
what it means to really, really cultivate the hard part of myself. And I was always afraid of that. I was always afraid of that because I thought about cultivating it, I would become very, very violent because I had a violent streak in my life where I was in, wanting to be in gangs and I was wanting to, uh, I was almost fighting every day and uh, I just had some shit that I, you know, shouldn't have been doing as far as me, myself, and I, it wasn't even in alignment with me. I was just doing it because I wanted to find a way to express hardness and I, didn't want to, I wanted people to respect me. So for people to respect you, it doesn't mean that you have to get in their, get in their face about it or you have to uh, make them respect you by making them say certain things. It's none of that. Really, be, really, really what it means about expressing the stronger aspects of yourself or the hard aspects of yourself is just cultivating the strength to be able to withstand situations where you would currently run away. And that's what it means. Certain situations where you currently close down because you don't want to use your intensity, those are the situations where you actually need to learn how to be in and how to sit in and how to cultivate and move through. So that's everything from when you walk up to a woman and she goes, fuck off, and you immediately feel derailed and you feel like, oh my God, I don't can't believe this girl said this to me. And you start to soften. And you start to be like, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I shouldn't have been like this. And you start to feel like that. That's you not being able to skillfully use the harder aspects of yourself and be able to just go stand strong and be really just be there and, and accept that and just move through it. What it means by accepted is not, not saying something to her, but accepted does mean being able to just allow yourself to be there. As she says it, maybe she walks away, you just stand there in a the moment and you just sit in attention of what it feels like to be uh, told off by a girl. And that's something you have to learn how to sit in because the more you learn how to sit in that, the more you have to you learn how to withstand these changing emotions of women. And that's everything from the moment you say hello to her, then when you get her to your house, and let's say maybe she's at your house and she goes, tonight is not tonight, and then you incorporate the softer aspects like I'll teach you later, but then there's a time where you need to be like, okay, and the harder aspect is, I don't need this. Meaning like, I don't need to have sex with you right now. That's actually not a need for you. You might feel that need in a moment, but it's important for you to be able to sit in attention of, within yourself of, Okay, it's not gonna happen tonight, and I'm okay with that. Because a lot of times, guys, they get very, very bitter in those situations about women not having sex with them because they're so attached to it. But the harder aspect in that moment is for you to just sit in the tension of, I might not ever have sex with this woman. Sit in the tension of that. As you sit in the tension of that, what you'll notice is that you start to build strength to that part when a woman does that. Because if you become very reactive to it and very bitter about it, guess what'll happen? You'll never gain the strength from those situations. Those situations will always derail you. They'll always bring you strife in your life. They'll always do. You'll be like, why do girls do this? So that's a moment right there. The way, or maybe a moment where you're with a woman and she tells you to, uh, that, that she's giving you behavior that you don't like. And that she's giving you behavior that you don't like, you start to go, oh my God, why is she acting like this? Uh, should she act another way? You know, this is something that I don't believe that women should act like. And you start to become soft to it and you're not really standing up to her. And then she just makes your life a living hell because you can't stand up to her mood. No, it's being able to have the integrity in a moment to speak about what you don't like. You know, the way you're speaking to me right now, I don't like it. Either stop speaking to me like that or I'll walk away. And really, really being, really meaning that, really, really coming from that place and sitting in the tension within yourself that, that may go, oh my God, I'm, I feel like I'm an asshole for saying this. You need to feel what it feels like to have integrity and state your boundary. These are times when you need to use the harder aspects of yourself. Maybe that's anything from leading a woman from this place to that place. And she's like, well, I don't know where we want to go. Should we go over here or there? And you're like, and you start being soft, like, I don't know. Should we do this or that? She's not going to be able to trust you. But for her to trust you, you need to be able to sing into the moment and use the harder aspects of yourself, which is leading. Anything where you have to move in a direction, there's a harder aspect. Anything where you have to cut through something is a harder aspect. Anything where you have to sit in the midst of something that you don't want to sit in the midst of is a harder aspect. These are the things that you must learn to be able to develop this part of yourself. And as you learn how to state your boundaries, have integrity, be clear on what you want in this moment, leader this place, you know, you be able to do that over and over, you'll find that part of yourself and you being able to express intensity within yourself, whether it be want to take her and fuck her or want to, want to uh, expressing anger, whatever it may be, you're learning 
how to, uh, to develop your learning and developing and cultivating the part of yourself that's very, very tough, that's very, very strong. You can, you can cultivate the part of yourself that's very uh, tough and, and strong and hard by you learning to do that more and more. And as you do that more and more in the situations that need it, you notice that when you don't need it. Because you can overdo this as well. As much as you can um, underdo it, you can overdo it. Underdo it is when you become in soft in situations where you need to be hard. Where you become in hard, where you become in soft in situations where you need to be hard. Overdoing is where you're doing it too much just to see uh, do you have it or to uh, make the woman uh, in, to make the woman follow you or to show that you have control or show that you have your shit down. This is when you overdo it. This is where you're in situations where the girl's like, um, I don't know. I think right now. Uh, we should go and you go no, no, okay. Okay. I know what we can do we can go this way And you're trying to be so hard in that moment and it's not fit to the moment because you're overdoing it You're overdoing the moment because you're just trying to do this thing in a way of just like all right I'm just gonna express the hardness. I don't want to cut through the bullshit and that that attitude is not fit for the moment and as I talk to as I talk to you later about feeling into the woman and knowing what to do you'll start to see that being too hard in any moment will scare the girl. Being too hard in any moment will make the girl know that you actually don't have it all together. And never you should you want to be, but never should you ever try to play out being too hard. Which means trying to show these harder aspects of yourself out of pocket. If you're going to lead a girl, lead, lead a girl in a way that's very, very uh, connected to the moment. If you're going to lead a girl in a way that's, that's just like, hey, let's do this or that, that's, and that's just doing it from that place, that's just going through the motions. But if you're going to lead a girl from a place where you're filled into the moment, it'll be very different. So you can overdo it with leading. You can overdo it with stating the boundary. You can overdo it if a woman goes, you know, just like me. Uh, if I have to say, there's many times that I've overdone, you know, even state my own boundaries to women where they just go, uh, okay, that's too much. Like I remember meeting girls and them giving me certain behaviors and me going, all right, this is a behavior I don't like. All right. And I, me just feeling in that moment, just I don't like, and they go, okay. And all they were doing was just giving me shit or something. And I try, I overdid it. And it's something else now when a girl gives me the behavior and I can just really see through it. And I know what it is, so I know that I can just allow myself to ignore it. Which ignoring is actually a very hard behavior. It's one of, it's one of um, being very strong. If you can ignore somebody while you're in front of them, it's a very strong thing to do when it's, when it's done right. Like if a girl give you a test and you just want to ignore the test, you can do that. It's totally fine with you. What will happen is that she'll switch. She'll give you the test and then she'll switch because she won't keep diving into the test because it's a test. That means that it has no, no depth to it. It's just a test. It's a very superficial layer. Learning how to just fit in the moment with your hardness is going to be important as well. So, if I can move over to this side of softness. Softness is just as beautiful as hardness. It is. There's certain times when you need to use softness and there's certain times when you don't need to use it. Softness is used mainly in moments of empathy. In moments where you're expressing how you feel to a woman. In moments where you're telling a girl how beautiful she is. In moments where uh, she is going through something. And you need to just be there for her in the moment. There's many moments where softness has its place. And guys that get so fucking in their head about, I don't want to be soft anymore. And I'm like, all right, bro, calm down. There's nothing wrong with being soft. But when you're too soft, guess what happens? You become a friend. She thinks that you're not strong. She thinks she can walk all over you. She doesn't respect you. This is what happens when you're too soft. And that's your fault that you're too soft. But you can learn how to be soft and not too soft. Just like you can learn how to be nice and not too nice. When is softness used? Softness is used... Let's say that you walk up to a girl and you say, excuse me. And you notice that she shocks. You get shocked right away. And you go, I know this may be a little bit strange. I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to scare you. That is softness in that moment. That's good softness. Let's say that you're talking to a girl and she's like, 
you know what? I just don't get my number out to guys on the street, and um, this is very weird for me. I know you're a very nice guy, and then you stop at the moment, you say, all right, I understand that this may be a really strange situation for you, you know, meeting a man like this. Would you say so? And she goes, yeah, this is very strange for me. And you go, okay, well, you know what we can do? We can just, <clears throat> we can plan to meet for a coffee. That's what we can do. And the choice is yours. You can choose to see me or not see me, but I just, I really enjoy talking to you. And you seem like a, a wonderful girl, and I want to get to know you. And you just really, that's the moment for that to come out, softness. You really being able to express to the woman how you feel about her in that moment, in that way. Guys may go, oh shit, she don't want that, man. You could just say, you know what? I know this is uh, strange, but you know what? Let's just try. That's good, man. But when you really feel into the moment, you said it to a girl, she knows that when I am in a mood where I'm scared, where I don't feel like it, this is how he will handle it. That is what you were showing her in that moment. Baby, when you're going through something like this, and you know, I'm saying baby, but when you're going through something like this, it's okay. I know people are afraid to do things, but I, I don't apologize for wanting to see you again. You're a lovely girl. You're a wonderful chick. I like you so far. Let's uh, get together and let's have a coffee. And just coming from that place inside of yourself of just true realness and just soft and vulnerable, that's really good for a woman to feel. Any woman. I don't care if she's really fucking hardcore. She's really fucking hardcore. You can be like, she can be like, well, you know what? I actually don't give my number to guys on the street. And you go, I understand. But this time, what do you feel about us when, we're, when, we, when we've been talking? She goes, no, oh, it's been cool, but you know what? I don't know if I really want to see you again because you might be crazy. You go, yeah, I might be crazy, but at the same time, you might be crazy. So, you know what? I guess we'll have to try. And then you become soft at the end. I'm not going to stay hard the whole time, but I will hit her with hardness as much she's hitting me, as she's hitting me with. But then I'll become soft at some point and let her know that it will be fun, though. Now you know about softness. Understand that it's not a bad thing, man. It's never a bad thing to be soft. I want you to love to be soft. I want you to love to be a man who has a caring heart. I want you to love to be a man who really wants a woman to feel good around him, really wants a woman to really feel in her body and feel loved, whether it be for one night, one moment, whatever it may be, for her to really feel appreciated. Want that, love that. Love the softer aspects of you because that's gonna bring out the softer side of a woman as well. You being able to really stay soft with her in the moments where needed, I mean, it can be magical. It incredibly can be magical. When you guys are looking at my infield, the reason why I'm able to be so fucking good when I'm in front of a woman is experience. I mean, like I've done it so many times. But the other reason is I'm so connected to the moment of when to be hard and soft and when to apply intensity, intensity and when to pull back on it. I'm so filled into the girl. I'm so connected to the moment with my heart. I'm so connected to the moment. Learn how to be connected to the moment. This is the thing I was telling you. Now, now we can get into filling into the moment with the woman. Because hard and soft are two things you must mature. And if we have to think about it, masculine and feminine, the, the masculine is the harder aspects, the feminine is the softer aspects. Being able to bring them both together, now you have the integrated man or the man that the integrated person. And that's the beautiful thing when you have a person that's integrated because this is the thing that everybody strives for in life. Every person out there, honestly, every girl out there wants a man who's integrated. I mean, even if she's not, she, wants, she thinks she wants a man that's integrated. She really does. She desires for that. Even though she might not even um, be able to attract that type of man into her life, that is the most attractive man. A man who can, always, who can be vulnerable in his heart, but at the same time be strong enough and, and be intense enough and, and be able to stand in the midst of her moods and being able to uh, walk away when need be. Or he's willing to walk away and he doesn't need her. Oh, man. And that's the man that women thrive for. They really love that. They, they will die for that because that is the man that uh, is the uncommon man. That is the absolute uncommon man. It is. It is very, very common for there to be players sprinkled throughout cities. It's very common. It's very common for there to be a lot of nice guys. Very common. But it's very, very uncommon for there to be a man who's really, really, I mean really, really nice sweet gentle appreciative he's able to appreciate he cares about others he cares about women he's very good to people he really wants the best for others himself and at the same time 
He also is fierce. He knows what he wants. He's willing to cut down bullshit. He's willing to tell a woman no. He's willing to have the look in his eyes of, don't fuck with me. He's willing to stand up for what he believes in. You have to understand that these are the beautiful aspects. These are the beautiful things that women want. The best of both worlds. 